Welcome to Stonegrave Minster. As you come in, we have on the right hand side a Saxon wheelhead cross. This is believed to date from the late 7th or early 8th century. Moving on, we have some very nice Norman arches on both sides of the nave. But the piece you're really interested in for your history is this chancel screen. And I'll go a bit closer and you can just see the date 1637. So this chancel screen was put up as a result of Archbishop Lord's chancel orders which were promulgated by Archbishop Lord, the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1633 and 1634. The reason he did this was to push back against the Puritan movement which had largely uh, taken altars out of the church and in some cases abolished the sacrament as well. And the Puritans placed a great emphasis on preaching the word of the Lord. Uh, so Archbishop Lord, as Archbishop of Canterbury said, we're not having any of this. We must have the altar restored back against the east wall of the church there must be an altar rail, and this one you see here before you is a late Victorian edition. But Archbishop Lord wanted altar rails with gaps that were too small so that dogs couldn't get through them. And he wanted the altar raised, as it is here, and he wanted this chancel, these chancel screens. So this one, as you can see, has some very, very fine carving on it. It's made of oak and it dates from 1637. And it's probably one of the last of the Laudian chancel screens to have been made because by 1637, the two sides in the Civil War were really pretty much entrenched. So local legend has it that by 1646, when the Civil War had largely finished, there were a large number of soldiers from Cromwell's new model army with nothing much to do. Cromwell was busy trying to suppress a rebellion in Ireland, and the soldiery, who were very much on the Puritan wing, some of them were levellers, had not much to do. So legend has it that in 1646 or 1647 or thereabouts, a group of them set out from York to come up Rydale, smashing up Archbishop Lord's chancel rails and chancel screens. They got as far as Sutton Bank when a snowstorm turned them back. So they headed back to York Minster with the intention of destroying the icons in York Minster. In the meantime, Sir Thomas Fairfax, who was Cromwell's cavalry general and who lived at Coxwold nearby, had heard of this and sent a couple of platoons of his cavalry to the Minster in York with instructions to defend it. So when this rather ragged, tired, wet, cold, hungry, grumpy bunch of Cromwell's foot soldiery turned up and said, right, stand aside, we're going to smash up the icons here in York Minster. Uh, the answer they got was along the lines of, no you're not, we're Yorkshiremen, this is our Minster, and the road out of town is that way. So they left with their tails between their legs. And here in Stonegrave, we are left with this lovely, lovely chancel screen intact. Thank you.